Hi everyone, this is Professor Monty. Let's talk about equivalent sets versus equal sets. So equivalent sets contain the same number of elements. Equal sets contain the exact same elements. So one thing we could say, since equivalent sets contain the same number of elements, five, two sets A and B, we could say N of A is equal to N of B. Remember that's from cardinality, they have the same number of elements. I have another video on cardinality if you wanna watch that. Equal sets doesn't mean the numbers have to be the same, but it means A has to equal B. They are exactly the same sets. So let's look. I've done four different sets, A through D, as you can see. And then let's talk about matching up these sets and seeing if they're equivalent or if they're equal. So A and B, well, to see if they're equivalent, remember they have to say have the same number of elements. Well, A has one, two, three elements. B has one, two, three elements, so we'd say yes, they're equivalent. What about equal? Are these equal? Well, no, they're not equal because they don't have the same elements. So we'd say no, they're not equal. Now let's go to the next one. Let's go to A and C. So now I've got these two. Well, notice with sets, I don't double count the same thing. The cardinality of a set is the number of distinct elements in there. Well, there's only three distinct elements in here. And there's only three distinct elements in here. So these are equivalent. So we're going to say yes again. But obviously, they're not equal. They're not the same set. So we'll say no. Well, what about A and D? Well, three elements, two elements. They're not equivalent. If they're not equivalent, they can't even be equal. So that's a no on both. B and C. Well, B and C, again, the set one, one, two, two, three, three is the same as the set one, two, three. So these are in fact equivalent because their cardinality is both three. They have three distinct elements and they have the same elements in them. So they don't look exactly equal because we repeated the numbers, but they are equal because set C can be written the same as set B. They're the same set. So yes, they're equivalent, same number of unique elements, three. And yes, they're equal because they have the exact same elements in them. Okay, so that was B and C. Let's look at B and D. Well, again, three elements in here, just two elements in here. So they're not equivalent. And notice, if anything's not equivalent, it can't be equal. So as soon as we have a not equivalent, they can't be equal because equal, they have to have be exactly the same set. So that was B and D. What about C and D? Again, there's really one, two, three unique elements here and only two there. So not equivalent, not equal. So notice something can be equivalent but not equal. But it can't be equal and not equivalent. So anytime something's equivalent, then we can check to see if they're equal or not. But if it's not equivalent, it can't be equal. Okay, that's the idea of sets. Just practice these a little bit, you'll get them. It's not too bad of an idea. We just have to distinguish and recognize the difference between the two. All right, best of luck, Dan.